I'm going to show you my photographing setup. The part where I take the measurements. This is my table right here that my husband built me. And I have just a few simple lights. Just simple lights here. And then I do have a ring light right here that I use. And I have my measuring tape. And I lay stuff out on this table. Let me show you what it looks like underneath. It's a stick that goes up against the wall like this. And there's a hole right there. So that's how it stands up. And then when you pull the stick out right here, it goes flush against the wall. So this goes down against the wall. So a pretty nice setup. Um, I used to do photos on the floor because I had nowhere else to do it and it was just killing my back. So my husband's handy, so he made me this. So um, let's show you what I do. Okay, so here is a jacket that I have laid out on the table that I showed you. Have my measuring stick. You can do length, pit to pit, um, sleeve length. Have the two lights that are just shining down have a ring light and the ring light I pick up sometimes and just move it closer if I need to. But for the most part, it just sits right at this angle. And my ring light has where you can change um, what the light looks like, like the different modes. And you can change the intensity of how dark it is or how light it is. And then whatever I don't like, I go to photo room and I do editing there, it's super quick. Um, so yeah, I like that. So I have my measuring stick. So first I would do a photo of just this. Like then the next photo I would do is the length. This is how I measure, you might measure different, but I measure from the top and this is where I take my photographs, right about there, to show the number. So I'd have it just like this. Then after that, you can do this measurement from the back or the front. It's just preference. I do it from the front. Then I do my pit to pit, which is right here, pit to pit. And this is about where I show my photograph. So the, I don't show the whole thing. I just show it a close-up of the number there. Then I'll do close-ups of the, the zippers. I'll do a photo of the zipper open. I'll do a photo of this open to show that the zipper works. And then I'll also do a photo of it, excuse me, with the zipper open to show that it works opening and closing. And then I'll also do a photo of the inside, showing any inside details. I've already done photos of the tags when I did this on the mannequin. I do photos of this on a mirror. I'll show you a few photos right now of what that looks like on the mannequin. These are the clothes that I've already taken photos of on the mannequin. Just do, a, I mean, it's basic mannequin pictures. I got my mannequin at Hobby Lobby. Um, I do just, you know, a front shot, a side shot to show the sleeve, a shot of the back, and then I do shots of the label, show which I'm here, what those look like. So here is a photo of what this looks like. Let's turn the light back on. This is what this looks like when it's down. So saves a lot of room. And this is the stick that goes underneath it. The little rubber stopper on the bottom. And then it just pops back up. Let me try to do it with one hand. This is how it's attached to the wall. 
piece of wood with the hinge and then we have material attached to a piece of wood basically stapled on and then he put a little ledge on the bottom so it's like that up and down Ooh, just like that easy peasy saves a lot of room I love it I don't have to bend over and get down on the floor anymore <laughs> Okay, so let's show you. This is the little ledge on the side that he has, and then this is just stapled. Just all around pulled tight and stapled. And then the ledge here is just, he put this here so I could put my phone there and the phone wouldn't slip down. Also, so I could put my measuring tape there and the measuring tape won't slide off. And I use, um, there, use one of these lint rollers to keep it clean. And I always keep a lint roller next to where I'm photographing. I have a lint roller, I have a brush, double-sided tape works great for, let me turn this light back on. Double-sided tape works great for holding down tags instead of using your finger. Just be careful though, because sometimes the tape can pull off um, some of the lettering on the tag. On the tag, I just have these sitting nearby for shoe photography. This is what I used to have to have my phone around my neck, and this is other things to put in shoes for shoe photography, and your basic ring sizer. So this is always just right easily where I can reach it in that spot. Let me show you where I do um, my shoes. All right, I have done all the measurements. Now it's folded nicely and it's put into this big jumbo hefty bag. I use the gallon ones and I use these and there's a number corresponding with a bin so let's go show you where we're gonna put this. Okay, this is part of my storage area. This is going to go in double F. I have A, B, C, D, F, G through Z, and then I go double A. This is my shipping area. Sorry for the mess, but my son is moving out this weekend and there's just all this stuff out here. Um, I have my bags, clear, mylar, poly, tissue paper, shipping paper, um, little blow-up things, um, just little extra things. And I'll also have a cart that I use with my tape, my little thank you notes, little business cards I had made, thank you stickers, which I got off of Timu, link below, LOL, link below. <laughs> um, when I do a Poshmark show, um, customers get a gift. So there's a little gifts there. This is right here, um, the paper that I use, or I get like use for bigger things that it won't fit in a bag. Um, I get, it's um, dry cleaning bags. And a shirt folder, which I've never used. <laughs> so yeah. All right, so that's the setup of my little shipping station, which I think I'm going to move into my son's room. This is all his stuff that he's going to get moving out. <laughs> all the stuff we bought. So this is going to go in the double F bin. I have all my empty bins. So this is going to go double F. And this is going to go in here. I reuse bags. So something else was in this bag before. And I just reuse it. So this is going to be 289 the numbers are not in order in here because I reused the bags and put it right in there. Close it up and that is safe in FF. So if you go to my eBay um, store, there is a spot where you list things that you can put um, like a SKU number or a you know, number or wherever you can put there to tell you where your stuff is. So yeah.
So I guess, sorry for my mess, but he's moving out. So yeah, this is my, this, I'm gonna probably move this whole shelf um, and all that into his bedroom when he moves out. Um, he's moving out Friday. Well, I'm kind of sad, but anyhow, two sons out of the house and daughter's still living here. So not a complete empty nest. <laughs> all right. So let me see. Let's, anyhow, this is it. This is what this looks like. Works good for me. Okay, so I said I was going to move my storage into the house and I did. So the garage was before. My son moved out of this room last week. Sad. But, hello kitty. I took over his room. So all of this that was in the garage is now in here. Loving it. So much more organized, air conditioned, safe. Um, I even moved, you know, all of this was on that one wall. So now it's here. The packing supplies, my bags that I use, the Mylar bags. These are the clear bags that I put the garments in. And then over here is how I wrap them in paper or I use tissue paper. It just depends. So I'm loving it. I bought a lot of this um, tissue paper at Hobby Lobby when they had their stuff on sale for Christmas, after Christmas, so it was like 90% off. <laughs> so that's great. Also, here's that little cart that was out there. So I have my cart with just the tape on it, my stickers. I had these made. So I stick these in with my packages. It has a QR code on there. I had these made... Um, professionally. I was doing them on my printer, but it was taking too much ink. Here's the necklaces. I only put a gift in if it's a purchase from a show. Um, here's some really cool stickers that I got off of, uh, I think these were Timu. Got these off of Timu. I think I got these off of Timu also. So that's, yeah, this is just a frame holder. Um, have some plastic for bigger things and just little containers for jewelry, which I don't sell much jewelry, so don't really need to worry about that. But anyhow, this is the new setup. Loving it. I also have space in here, which I haven't used yet or utilized yet, but I'm going to, I think, in this area, buy those plastic um, drawer bins, the big plastic ones, and start putting stuff in there instead of the big bins and just putting stuff in this. And I also have some boxes in there also. So I just need to go to Walmart and buy some of those. But I'm loving it. It's just, it's organized, um, have lots of space. So yeah, I think this is gonna work well. And yeah. I'm loving it. Loving it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel.